We're about to launch this cold email campaign for a client that'll bring them about four and a half million dollars worth of leads this year. And I'm gonna break the whole thing down in two minutes and how you can use AI in your sales campaigns. And that's completely for free. I don't want your information. I'm selling nothing. And with that said, let's get into it. Okay, so this is what the funnel looks like that I'm gonna walk through in this video and just every facet of it. In addition to especially those AI tools that give it the extra kick performance wise. So again, this is for a real client. Uh, this is exactly what we use to send all of our campaigns. To start off, the general targets or KPIs for the campaigns are this. I, I, I won't bore you with the numbers, but uh, generally we're looking at about an 80% open rate and a one per second conversion rate that will generate that four and a half million dollar number just lead opportunity wise that'll generate in total this year about $600,000 in revenue or an 83X return on a total cost of $7,200. Now generally in terms of cold email campaign setup, you're gonna think about these four things. You're gonna start with lead sourcing. That is essentially, well, you know, who are you gonna send these emails to and what kind of leads are you trying to get for either you and your business or a client at hand. So we primarily use two databases to get those leads. Those are Cognizant and Uplead. Uh, there are others as well. We've just found those to be especially useful. Uh, and the data you can get from them looks somewhat like this. Uh, it does somewhat vary on, on the company or the database at hand, but you can search for individuals or companies uh, based on a whole set of criteria. So where they work, uh, the industry they're in, you know, all sort of even uh, up to events triggers and intent tracking. So once you get your leads from there, uh, then you have to think about um, warming up the email addresses that you're going to use to actually send those emails. So what that essentially means is you don't want the emails that you use to send cold emails to your leads to go to spam. To avoid that, you're going to gradually ramp up the volume of emails sent from accounts. Uh, we primarily use two tools for that, those being Lemwarm and Instantly. There are others as well. We've just found those especially useful. And you can see that right here, uh, this email, for example, uh, which is hidden, has a score of 72. The higher the score is, the more warm it is. And when those are, those numbers are high enough, you're ready to launch your campaign. However, you wanna make sure your vetting and targeting is on point before you launch. Uh, Glock is a fantastic tool just to make sure that your emails aren't in fact going to spam and then Million Ver Verifier is a fantastic uh, AI driven tool as well and what they let you do is bet that the actual emails of the leads from your databases here are 100% real. Then to actually send the emails you're generally going to need two things. One of those is an email marketing system. Our platform, so the three we generally use are Lemlist, Drip, or Instantly. I'll put those benefits on the screen right here. And for this campaign specifically, we are using Lemlist. You can then integrate those into some sort of CRM. You're gonna to wanna to do that most often with Zapier. And Zapier across the board is just fantastic for all kinds of automation, so you definitely wanna be on that platform if you weren't already. Okay, we're gonna to get to the AI tools in just a second. What I really wanna stress here with regard to general email campaigns and cold emailing and really sales as a whole is you wanna split test everything that you're doing. And the logic there is unless you already know what works, as in if this is a new campaign for a new client, product, service, offer, etc., and therefore to figure out what works best, not just what is gonna work well, you're gonna to wanna to split test everything to see what actually works. So for example, in this specific campaign, we're testing 18 different subjects lines. So those are just sort of the first line of an email that people read, in addition to the body and general framework of that first email, and then the rest of the emails in the sequence of which we use four. Uh, we're also testing and split testing the leads, right? So does a different industry uh, increase conversion? Does the size of the company impact conversions and so on? And then the last two variables here are qualities that we're testing are completely AI driven. This is really what the focus of the video will be. And then the default subject line response rate is just about 70%. If you use something generic like pay and then personalization with the first name of the lead. So really good subjects line and copy will be above this 70% or so mark. And if you're under that, you can really just resort to the default. And here's what that split testing looks like on this campaign, right? This is just one of those sequences of which we're split testing about eight different ones. And then you have sequence A and sequence B. And then within sequence A and sequence B, you have another split test of version A and version B. So that way we're getting four tests off this one main sort of concept test. So that being the body and the offer within the email. Now let's get into some of those AI tools 
The primary ones we're using on this campaign and generally for all of our emails are personalized lines and personalized video. Now the overarching framework here, the, the concept is that the more customized an email is, the more tiered it is to the person who's receiving it, the higher the response rates, the open rates, and really every metric that counts is going to be. And so for personalized lines, that's essentially just two lines that are completely tiered toward the person received the email. You really have to do that with AI. Uh, the way we do it, we built out our own system. I'll put up a screenshot of that here. And that is RIP, I'm, I'm not selling this. And that will scrape the website information associated with a leads company name. And then it plugs that into ChatGPT, which then generates a few custom lines or personalized lines for the start of an email. And that has a big difference in terms of conversions because again, every single lead feels like the email was customized to them. And there's such a massive difference in sort of custom variables like a first name or a company name versus AI. It really is just a world apart. And then you're seeing these great personalized video tools come out now. Uh, the primary one that we use is response.ai. And what that lets you do is uh, record one single video and then the AI will uh, record the website of the leads and then paste the website behind the video. So you record essentially one video and then every client feels like they're getting a video made just for them. So in combination, these personalized lines and personalized videos just give you really unparalleled personalization and customization. Uh, in addition to all of this, with regard to your lead generation, you're getting really, really targeted leads and really, really targeted emails. And that combination is really what drives these returns, which are well above average. I also wanna to touch on some other AI tools that are coming out. You're seeing a lot of cold calling AI tools for sales come out now. One of those is air.ai. Uh, that's really scary because what that means in a few years, and, and it, it's not great right now, but it's getting there, is that every uh, phone call you get will just be indistinguishable from a human and trying to sell you. So I'm not a fan of that, just as per really how intrusive it is, but that is really where the future is going. So that's an overview of what this cold email campaign with AI looks like, and just let me know what you want to see a deep dive on. And I'll see you in the next one.